glove? Why am I putting this glove on you, might ask? Mr. Jackson! <laughs> Hey, this is Nathan. And I'm Doug. And this is Bud K by Request, the show for you by you. It is all about your whatever you're asking. And we had so many comments it was last so, week. It was, I had so much Man, fun. Man, it is so much fun to read through y'all's comments, your questions. Yeah. Uh, also on Snapchat, I mean, on Facebook, on Twitter. I mean, we're, we're just trying to talk to you guys everywhere. And it's just so yeah. much fun to actually connect with you and talk about knives. And be a part of the community. Snapchat's blo yeah. blowing up, man. If you're not there, you're missing out. You're missing out on yeah. what happens. Or like We actually snap, snap right before we film. We snap during the filming in just That's a little right. bit. Yep. We snap after the filming. It's almost like we snap around the film. Snap, snapping. Snapping, like, snapping, all snapping, the time. And snapping and snapping. <laughs> all right, anyway, so we're going to talk about knife laws this week because uh, we, we had a really awesome question we'll get to in a minute. But first off, we have this amazing shameless plug that your cup is now in the way. Why am I putting this? Oh, my cup's in the way. Your cup's oh, in the way. Why am I putting this glove on you, Mike? Mr. Jackson! <laughs> no, Jackson! Actually, because this thing okay. is so shiny, I don't want to. I don't want to damage it. It is a, a, guys, damaged, it's Super Bowl, yeah, okay? Yeah. So we wanted to do a shameless plug with a golden knife, yeah. Super Bowl Fifty. It's the gold Super Bowl, so yeah. the shameless plug is going to be the El Dorado gold knife. Stiletto. Let me get the light. It's just shing, shing, the shimmer. shimmer, the shimmer oh. in the, the camera. I'm looking over here because this is where so, I can see myself. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool knife. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and actually give out the shameless plug to this guy right here because Woo! last week. It is uh, Mikey Wolf had an awesome comment uh, that we were talking about knives last week, obviously. Yeah. And yeah. he had the comment of, what do you guys at Bucket feel about these knife laws? Right. Are they doing more harm than good? Or are the knife laws okay the way that they are? It's a really great question. It's a really, yeah. really cool question. So we thought we might want to pick that one up and run the show today. So, hey, you get, you know, contact us via YouTube message, and uh, we'll get you an El Dorado Stiletto. Mikey, thanks for the question. Well, yeah, man. What do you think? Um, knife laws. I think it's good. I think are they you know, are knife laws good? Do we need them? Are they good the way that they are? I think that knife laws are amoral, meaning they're not good. And they're not bad. I think that the intent behind them and the people who are making them yeah. makes them good or bad. Well, I mean, and originally it seems like every uh, law that's in the books was made because there's probably in response to a circumstance that originally had happened at one point in time. You know, whatever that case may be. And do they do more harm than good? Well, that's really a subjective question specific to every law. Yeah, yeah. Are they okay the way they are now? I mean, in some circumstances, there might be some cities and some states that are fine, and there might be some that are just too strict. Yeah. Um, well, I, I mean, I think there's some knowledge that really needs to be uh, laid upon anyone who's using a knife to use it properly. And the the parental figure, you know, or the guardian figure is really important mm -hmm. in this conversation. Yeah. That person, whoever is, you know, handing the knife off to a youngster really needs to also hand off the education on how to handle the knife properly. Yeah, and that, and that comes back to, to, you know, parents be parents. Yes. Like, teach your kids how to use this stuff yeah. that you're allowing them to have. Parents be parents. Don't let the government be the parents. That's exactly what I was going to say. Like, yeah. the you know, we're letting the government make these laws to parent our kids instead of the parents parenting the kids. Exactly. And, and that's just, you know... Definitely have a problem with that. That's the way it needs to be. Okay, with that in mind, <laughs> all right, we're going to do the top 10 worst cities for knife owners. Yeah, if this is your city, then like leave a I comment. I am so sorry yeah. for you. I mean, in states and cities where knife restrictions, uh, knife, knowledge of the law is essential to avoid an unfortunate arrest. I mean, you know, we obviously like love knives. We love to sell knives. Obviously. Some places just don't like that. And right. so you need to be knowledge if you're in this area or this location, you could be potentially breaking the law if you just walk down the street. So the 10 ter worst anti-knife cities, number 10, go. Aspen, Colorado, any concealed knife is illegal to carry in public. Any concealed knife. So basically any knife whatsoever that is hidden, you can't carry it in public. Okay, so this knife has a pocket clip, and this is just my interpretation. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about law. It can be interpreted. Um, but this, you know, if I was carrying it with this pocket clip uh, showing, I don't think that's concealed. But they make pocket knives like a trapper or something that wouldn't necessarily have a pocket clip. And if you just drop it in your pocket, you go from... All of a sudden, it's legal to illegal. Exactly. It's ridiculous. Okay, number nine, which is crazy, in Texas, Corpus Christi... Of all places, yeah. It's Texas. illegal to carry any fixed blade knife or a folder with a blade longer than three inches, except when actually in use on the job. What? Yeah, in use on the job. So that means that you could actually have a three-inch or longer blade but if you're going to work... If you're in your car on the way to work. On the way to work, that's illegal. But when you're actually at work, in use, then it's only legal. So it's like, 
These not these laws are getting you know, they're just a little ridiculous. If you buy a knife and have it mailed to your workplace, you're safe. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only at the workplace. I'm, right. All right. Number eight. Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, two and a half inch blade concealed carry limit, two inch blade limit for 18 and under, and but minor cannot legally obtain any knife. So first of all, you okay. So we need a. I got a two. And this is a two and a half inch blade here. Mm -hmm. Now this is an assisted open, so this is probably legal anyway. But this is a two and a half inch blade concealed carry limit. So anything over this. So this is not a two and a half inch blade. You can't, you cannot conceal carry this. No, this is. This is like two and a half inches. No, no, that's the bigger one. The little one here is two and a half inches. Which, oh! There's two there. That's a two set. <laughs> Did you, oh, it's oh. magic. Um, yeah, yeah, So this one is okay. Yeah. Well, the assist, well, the fact that it's assisted open is not. Well, that's a whole like, other thing. This is yeah, just for visual, visual, visual reference. Visual reference, that's a two and a half inch blade there. Yeah. And that's okay. Uh, two inch blade limit for 18 and under. So not so if you're 18 and under, you can't have these at all. This is this is too long. And if you actually pass me that, pass me that boot knife right here. Here's a boot knife. Yeah, this that's is a fixed blade. That's two and a half inches. Yeah, can't have it. Well, concealed you can. That's the thing. No, two no, and a no. half inch blade concealed carry the limit. Oh, okay. So you can't go yeah. over this. This is the biggest knife that you can have. Also, 18 and under. If you're 18 oh, yeah, under. 18 and under, you can't have this. Forget about it. Forget but over... What? This is, yeah, this is the biggest you can have for a knife that's, in Chicago. That's insane. Okay. So Cleveland, Ohio reaches number seven. Tell me about it. It's a two and a half inch blade carry limit. Registration of any sale or gift of a longer bladed knife. So if, uh, you know, if you win the shameless plug here, you would actually have to register this if you lived in Cleveland and Ohio. It's because if somebody gets like assaulted, they'd want to be able to trace it back. Maybe. Oh, is word. That what? I don't. I just. I just think how it's you, ridiculous. How do you register it? It doesn't have a serial number. You it's just got touched an, it without your gloves. I did. Ah! It's got fingerprints on it. No. <laughs> it's so glossy. It's amazing. <laughs> All this <is> lost. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So this doesn't have a serial serial number. How do you register it? No idea. I mean, what do they do? They just say. How is it any different? Yeah. I mean, gold folding knife. Uh, Doug Marchant, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Okay, moving on. Bathroom. So, that was number seven. Number six, Boston, Massachusetts. Again, well, I don't know, what is this magical number? Two and a, two half, and a half inch inches. blade, Carolyn, yeah. including in any vehicle. So, usually, you know, mm -hmm. the vehicle is an extension of your home. Exactly. Not in this case. Not in Boston. If you're in your vehicle with a blade longer than two and a half inches in Boston, Massachusetts, you're in trouble. So, forget about having something in your car. To, like if you break down self the side defense of the road. or anything like that, yeah. yeah. Or if you just need to cut a loose thread. Yeah, you or if you're in an emergency situation, you got to get the belt off. Well, what if you have your what if you have your uh, your knife in your pocket mm -hmm. and you're in your car? Is it immediately whoop? You get in a drive and like you're breaking the law. You're breaking the law automatically. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, number five. Rocky. Wait, before we do that, oh. Snapchat time. Beep, beep, Wait, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> we got to do a Snapchat here real quick, guys, because we're doing this now. So, if you are on Snapchat, hey guys, we are filming Whoa. right now. There we are. Hey, hello to the filmers. So, <laughs> we're checking out and filming the next vlog. This isn't a vlog. This is a buy request. Nathan just had like I a, did a time lapse there. Yeah. Long time ago, we used to film vlogs. So I'm going to send that up comment right Comment if you gone. remember. If you remember the vlogs. If you remember oh the vlog, comment. Oh, let's show you Snapchat Oh, pictures. yeah, we got some Snapchat Shh. pictures here too, guys. Yeah. Look at it. So, dude, I mean, they, I mean, check these out. You got I sent them to you, I think. I got to say, I am personally extremely These impressed. things are just just the coolest. I'm telling you, if you guys aren't at, on Snapchat right now, you're missing out on this stuff. Like, uh, I like the fact that the tactical butter knife made an appearance. Yeah, that's so I I mean, that was full the circle. Yeah, it really did. He, he watched the video, won the tactical butter knife, and then watched our show and then Snapchat the, the tactical butter knife. I mean, worked, it's great to see that again. We worked really hard hand making that thing, and I'm happy to see that it's it is still, so fun to see that again. Still living, man. Yeah, I mean, these yeah. are just some great places, some great EDC of the days. Uh, you know, oh, okay. someone made a throwing range, which is really awesome. Oh, that's beast. Uh, the Kershaw Shuffle oh. made an appearance. Uh, oh, yeah, and a mystery bag. This oh, person this the... totally scored on a mystery bag. That's a really sweet. Isn't that awesome? Oh, if I turn it sideways, it yeah, yes, again. yeah. Okay. Dude, that's a sweet man. Oh, he got they, the M forty eight apocalypse. So cool, yeah. That thing is a really solid blade. Yeah, that's awesome. So anyway, guys, yeah, congrats, Snapchat man. us your shots if you want to see them on the show. The opportunity to probably do that and uh, you know have a little bit of fun here. Yeah, so. have some fun with us on uh, Snapchat for sure. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to uh, number five. Okay? Number five. We were Rock, just talking about that. Rocky River, Ohio. Again, it has a two and a half inch blade limit. There's got to be some type of that magic number. I, yeah. I'm wondering if maybe I think it has to the do fact with, with lethality. Well, I think it, yeah, it's it's like the distance it takes to reach the heart. If yeah. You to go through the. The thing is, though, you know, I'm a, I'm a thicker person than you. 
Right. Yeah, two and a half inches would probably knock you out. Two and a half inches would go right through me. Yeah, I was about to say, well, you're <laughs> like paper, side. so yeah, you yeah. just turn, turn to the side and you disappear. Yeah, you, just, you just wait. I know where you were. You just wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. No. Okay, be. what's number four? Uh, San Antonio, again, Texas. Texas, again, yeah, I know. Which Texas is like Freedom State, you know? Like, I got my Freedom Cup, and it would be perfect in my Freedom Locked State. Locked and looted. Like, we guys, love Texas, yeah. but but there are two cities. All <clears throat> locking blade pocket knives are illegal to carry except on the job again. All locking blade pocket knives. So basically, shameless plugs. Illegal. Shameless plug. This locks into place. This my, is illegal. The knife that I carry. My trusty, yeah, there's other little. Yeah. There's other little assisted opens that you had there. Those are locking blade pocket knives. So those would be all illegal. Yep. Uh, number three, Ocean City, Maryland. Many common pocket knives are illegal. Catch twenty two traps. Many citizens. Okay, so guys are just walking around thinking they're cool. They got their EDC on them or yep. whatever, and then they get stopped for you know jaywalking. And then, oh, you got a knife on you. Guess what? Guess what? You got, you're breaking that law too. So we're just going to, it's like gravy for the law breaking, yeah. you know, community or whatever. You're just like, oh, we'll just throw this one on too. It adds another few you points know, or whatever. Sometimes it makes me wonder if it's a way for uh, some of these smaller mm -hmm. cities to make a lot of money. Like there's a really small city I drive through on the way to work, and there's always, every day without fail, at five o'clock, a time. cop sitting yeah, there clocking the people. I'm wondering if this is just you get fined for it and it's way for the city. A little like ching ching ka ching ka ching ka ching. Yeah. 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 I'm smelling something funny here yeah. with some of these laws. Number two. All right. Out of the top 10 worst cities, anti knife laws, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All knives, all knives are illegal to carry except when actually in use on the job. This is another one of those ridiculous concepts. You know what? You got to drive to work every day, you got to drive home. Don't have that knife with you. I, you know what? If I worked in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I would probably require this. Oh, my word. This would be my job. <laughs> my knife required from a job. I know. I mean, because it's just, <laughs> I'd be freaked out the entire time, but no knife. Just forget it. You live in Philadelphia, just not yeah. going to happen. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. All okay. knives. Okay, let's talk about number, number one. Number one, you probably actually know this. You could probably guess it. You would probably guess it. Because yeah. New York... New York. The majority of pocket knives will result in an arrest. Arrest, not just getting fined. Not just, yeah, but arrested. Cups. Yes, aggravate aggressive prosecution of knife owners over sixty thousand to date. That's crazy, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, the fact that like ninety percent of pocket knives out there could not actually work in New York. Right. Because New York's laws are so aggressive. But not only that, but the police officers, they have a lot of weight on their side to be subjective mm -hmm. yeah. on how the laws That's are right. actually worded. So they're, so if they just don't like the way you're looking at them, I mean, they can throw in three or four more knife-breaking rules. I mean, just, not only that, okay, here's the craziest part. I tell you what it is. Okay, concealed carry. Is it illegal to be a concealed carry knife? Even if the knife is showing through the, the, the clothing. Really? So it's like still considered so, concealed? Yeah. yeah. Like if you can actually see the imprint of the knife through your pocket. If it's printing. If it's you're fine. printing, that's what it is. If yeah. you're printing, then yeah, you could, then basically that's still you're illegal. Asking, you're asking for trouble at that point because yeah. then they know you got something and it's concealed and they're going to go after you. It's so point. ridiculous. Yeah. But uh, wait a minute. I got an update though. Oh, We do yeah. have an update on this because this, this list is maybe a year or two old. This but there's uh, an update in Texas. Bill HB 905 signed into law in effect of September 1st, 2015. It repeals yeah. the local laws we just talked about. The more restrictive than, uh, like the local laws that are more restrictive than state law. Thrown out the window. So, so Corpus Christi and um, what San, was that? San, San Antonio. Antonio. Hey, yeah. thumbs up on that, hey, guys. Digital high five. That's, what, boop, that's yeah. what we're talking about. So, I mean, those are the worst top 10 cities. I guess top eight. Top eight. Top eight. <laughs> Yay <laughs> for Texas there. And, uh, you know, it, I would love to know what the conversation is on your part. If you have a knife law in your area, which you Definitely. just think is outrageous. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Leave, it, leave it in the comments. Leave it Tell in the comments. It. Snapchat it to us, you know, or something along that line. Right. You know, if you, if you know of, of a knife law in some other location or something, uh, I'd love to hear what it is. Hey, thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video. Please share it. Uh, if you like this content, you want to see more like it, subscribe to our channel. And remember to add us on Snapchat. We've made it super easy. And uh, if you want to win a shameless plug, if you want a chance for that, or if you just want to hang out with us, leave a comment below. We'd, We'd love, love to hear it, guys. Yeah. But keep our request. We'll see you next time. See you next time.